Get ready, it's about to go down. Nicola and Gwendolyn, yes. how are you? We're good. Scared about that yeah. kazoo. Oh, you've noticed the kazoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm worried about the kazoo. That means... I'm scared of the kazoo. <laughs> it means... That's what it means. I have one say. kazoo, one of you needs to play the tune. I'm not touching Theme it. Theme tune. I've actually go into anaphylactic shock if I have to have anything to do with the kazoo. <laughs> this is so wonderful. <laughs> Thanks for Was this. Was that good? Perfect. I'm going to give you five points. I'm anxious about the kazoo. Because Sue is out. This kazoo is out. I have a feeling a lot of faves are going to die, and I'm not ready for it. <laughs> Favorite. Faves. Faves? <laughs> faves? What do you say? Like? Faves. Say faves. Faves. Well, a lot of faves, but yeah, probably you should get ready. You should get ready, right? So I think we start to explore more of who Brienne of Tarth is as a person and her own wants and needs and desires. Oh. How's Lannister? Lannister. Oh, nice. Brienne is completely the reason Jamie became a likeable character. <laughs> this is like, you could have written it. Did you write this? It's just fact. <laughs> you wrote Everybody this. knows. Also, Nikolai likes to work on making me feel really vulnerable. Um, and, and, and not at ease. So a lot of that's quite close to the surface and quite raw. Quite, quite, quite raw. Yeah, close to the surface. Really, just boiling. Yeah, you might, you might say. You want to keep it on a simmer. You might say all excruciating. I mean, you could, yeah. you could, you could say that. Yeah. Eric, my heart. Sorry. <laughs> Eric. My, sorry, <laughs> I'm reading the word it as my. Dragon. Okay, horse. HBO spin-off. Brienne of Tarth and Jamie Lannister's adventures in Westeros. Um, we've, we've already pitched. Shot it. We've, well, we shot it, yeah. We've already shot it. But it's we've gonna, already shot it. HBO didn't want it, but we Netflix is going with it. We so shot it in good. season three, but they put it into the Series to save money. Like I, I like us. <laughs> <laughs> You're pathetic. So pathetic. Self-obsessed. Just stop talking about yourself. Has anyone ever told you you're as boring as you are ugly? Yes, they have. <laughs> he, has he said it to me? Yeah, it, Jamie yeah. said it to Brienne. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? I was right. <laughs> I was right. I was One right. point. They're all going to die. Well, you know what? We it's are all going to die. And it's something that you have to come to terms with and make the most of each day. Are you, are you, have you come to terms with that? De <laughs> Mortality? I think yeah, I think I have. Have you? No. Really? Not really. Why? I don't want to die. You don't want to? No, I know, I will. Are you going to be cryogenically frozen? <laughs> <laughs> just the head? Can you afford just the head? They or don't you have go anything for the full that... body? <laughs> Should we just discuss this between ourselves? Is it Ramsey Bolton? It's very Tyrion. It's Tyrion. 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 No, that was Ramsey Bolton. <laughs> Just sedate themselves for at least a year mm -hmm. to process the grief. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good, strong advice. Wow, that's really dark. How would I choose her to <laughs> yeah. die? Yeah. Allow okay. your imagination to run riot. Old age. Oh. Now it's your turn. I would like your <laughs> character to spontaneously combust. God, yes, it could happen. Eric, it hurts my heart knowing Jamie ain't winning this thing. Oh, huh? Eric. What he is winning at is you know eating nothing, Eric. nuts. What? He knows nothing. He doesn't what was know that, that I'm not winning. The thing you did then, that no noises, those noises. Well, go was it an impersonation? No, I would never do that. Was it an impersonation of someone? No, it's just because I'm eating. Ice or fire? Ice. Ice. Ooh. You once mentioned that the scenes you loved best were with Nikolai. It was, I subsequently decided that's incorrect. And, and anything not involving Nikolai has proved to be... Horrible for her. A lot uh, just more enjoyable. Less enjoyable. And less strange. But you know what? You're so good <laughs> in our scenes. 
I was just gonna ask, how would you describe each other as a scene partner? Really unreliable. She's really helpful. <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> supportive. She's so supportive. Weird. And really caring and loving. <laughs> the little boy who had to, was still breastfeeding when he was eight. Oh my god. That was god. pretty disgusting. And Sorry, I'm sorry. You, I'm you just always being a... bring this up. Because I thought it you was very shocking. Always. And the other one was... You uh, brought this up relentlessly so... over the years. Well, clearly it made an impact in, in my well, psyche. Well, certainly did. Do you enjoy snacks? You don't strike me as the sort of person that, that does snack. That it's snacking on nuts. That it's a healthy option. Oh, no. I can't. Drogon. Begins with an R. The other the one. The other one. Which is... Prairon. <laughs> Rhaegal. I thought of all this time, I thought that he yeah. nannied. No, that was later. He brought you up. Yeah. I saw how well he did with my daughter, and I asked him, could he do that for me as well? <laughs> you can. No, I can't. Maybe not now, but you can. <laughs> I can't. Oh, come on. Quite good. I'm not. I'm really not. Who There's can, no who one. Could you do? No one. Okay. There, I don't no. think there is. No, no, I'm not going to say anything. No, I'm not. <laughs> good. No, sorry, it's no. Stay on one. camera. Yeah. It comes to know. She does you do Jon Snow. Yeah. You do. Go on, please. <laughs> you don't have to. But she does. She does a good Jon yeah, Snow. She does. It will remain just between the two of you. Light Echo Jack says... It's really not gentlemanly to eat while doing a television interview. Well, have you ever thought of me as a gentleman? Good point. Okay, uh, Robert Baratheon. Um, Joffrey uh, Baratheon. Tommen Baratheon. Yes. <laughs> there was a time oh, no. when we, do you remember that thing when we had to, you had to sell me? <laughs> <laughs> and you had to get This into... was awful. So I'm wearing the car. <laughs> it's season two. I'm not really au fait with the car at this stage. And I'm just trying, oh. trying to do a good job. But on this day, I was going to be paddling um, Jamie <laughs> down, the, uh, down the river. And so they'd give me a wetsuit to wear under the car that was too small. So the spine was under intense compression. And also Nikolai's in the boat and he's saying, can you hurry up and do this because I'm trying to get back for my, birth my daughter's seventh birthday. And oh, you kept saying, I've got a plane birthday. to catch. You kept saying, I've got a plane to catch. Yeah. And I was really oh, I had nervous. A was seven and you're saying, do you, know, do you know what you're doing here? And I was really, oh, really God. anxious. But I didn't realise how much you enjoyed it. So I'm, I'm just glad for you for that. Oh, she's 15 now. That's wonderful. She's developing and leading a life. I mean, that's wonderful. Do you do that when you read a book? You don't go, oh, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna rewrite this book. I, I mean, think it's, it's just a question, you know? Maybe you want to answer it. I don't have, uh, I mean, no. I had lots of different ideas about things, oh, um, but that was, that's one of my fondest memories. And I remember you, because you were doing a scene, and I came in and I said, this is amazing. And you said, yeah, yeah, I'm just waiting for my smoothie. What was it like filming your last scenes on the show? Uh, I became a mess. <laughs> and for you, how was it? How, how was the last moments? It he was, cried as well. Did not cry at all. <laughs> he did cry. Nut. I mean, you must have known it was coming though, right? When you start this show, you, 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 I guess you don't know when it's going to end, but you knew it was building up to a moment. Yeah, um, yeah. Ha, I mean, did you, did you feel any kind of... I don't, I don't feel. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, power corrupts. But also, as human beings, we're somewhat predisposed for that thirst for, for, for hunger and for domination. But um, it's also, I, I think, um, good to reflect that being civilized means transcending those base desires. <laughs> same. You think the same. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, because of the dynamic of the oh God, I think I think that this here, this, um, I think because of the dynamic of that, re re that the dynamic of that relationship was so <clears throat> strong mm. that I expected to see more of it, and I was a bit saddened that there wasn't more of that, you know, because it's, it's such an interesting combination of people to see together and also the the begrudging respect that they develop for each other but also how that goes up and down and um 
I wanted to see more, but then I was having a lot of fun playing that. Thank you to my team. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.